you talked about yeah. how connecting was something that's difficult for you uh, or was difficult for you. And it's something that you've been doing. I think you said from the, the top down or something like that. I, I used a specific wording. Um, what, what was so difficult about that? And how have you been able to get in front of people that you didn't know before? I mean, is it just using Instagram or, or is there, you know, is the Marla IP somewhere special in there? That's, that, that's, yeah, really well. I don't know. My, um, for a long time, I felt like I was the, uh, somebody told me a joke when I first got down here they were like, are you a Yankee or are you a damn Yankee? And they were, I was like, you know, what's the difference, right? The joke. Okay. Well, a Yankee is somebody from the North who comes to the South and a damn Yankee is someone that stays. And so I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'm a damn Yankee. Um, it's, it's different culturally. Like I talk faster. Um, I still have a 917 area code on my phone. I haven't changed to the 757 as much as that's, um, you know, my brand now. Right. So, um, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's just, uh, connecting here. I've, I, I have to kind of learn the pace of life and, um, start to appreciate that, you know, we are a large network of suburban, um, communities and there isn't really that like downtown, there's a couple of little downtown pockets in different cities, but, um, it's just a different feeling. So, uh, I, with made in 757, the idea of like, that marketplace concept right but it's local so we don't have a dense urban core one dense urban core that has really cool um stores and businesses and all kinds of stuff we have we have a few of them um here is like an online version of that kind of marketplace and it's going to be expanding from handmade goods very soon to include things that are more cultural experiences like um you know, musicians can sell their MP3s if they're independent musicians or um, poets can sell literature. Um, people who are writers can sell their eBooks. Um, you know, if you run a, a very interesting experience that's bookable, you can put that on the site too. And it's all that sort of local discovery marketplace element. Yeah, I mean, one thing that's really interesting is, so as I'm listening to this, you, Zach, myself, we're all, transplants and I, and I to this day I've been here 20 years now and I it's like to this day people ask me if I'm from here and I never I still don't know how to answer that question because it's just guaranteed if I if I say yes I am then they're going to say oh well how, you know, and I've been here for 20 years oh well then you're not from here and right at what point yeah it was like, like that when you lived in New York too though I lived in New York for almost seven years and it was like that too because I wasn't from New York um, seven years is not a long time, but it's a long time. And, you know, there were people who moved to New York. I mean, everybody moves to New York. There are a lot of people who are from there, but, um, in New York city, you know, even so it's like, are you, were you born in New York or were you not, you know? And I'm like, the only place that I was actually from is Philadelphia. So, um, and I'm not living there. Yeah. And I wonder if it's one of these deals where is it some of the people that have been born and raised here that are holding on and they don't want things to change and progress. And then we have us damn Yankees that are trying to move things forward. So like there's a clash between that. Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, I uh, think that cross pollination is inevitable and people move, people are migratory. So um, I just, I think that yes, we can put down roots wherever we are, um, but we can also transplant ourselves and it's, it would be silly to not recognize that this area is made stronger by people who are both local and who come from outside bringing different perspectives and, and everything shapes the uniqueness of our region. So it's not just about like this Southern coastal culture. I mean, that's a big part of Hampton Roads, but it's also like, how can we take that Southern coastal culture and infuse it with um, really interesting things that people get ideas from other places and do it in a different way, right? Are you stuck at your home office, socially distanced coffee shop, or your fancy all bricked out corner office wondering why no one can see your business and sales are all over the place? Sounds like you need a pro. That's why I developed the Anomaly Academy. Insert clever copy here. Oh, I guess I was supposed to put something else there. Oops. You can grab access to the Anomaly Academy now at ZachMillerSays.com slash Anomaly Academy.